Hi everyone. Today we are going to be looking at FF Dot, the pixel art of Final Fantasy. So this is a really cool book and it basically goes over the different pixel arts for Final Fantasy 1 through 6. One thing I really love, it, I'm personally learning pixel art, so I really like that they give you the number of pixels up and across so you kind of have an idea of exactly how many you're going to need. So when you set up your different uh, pixel art ranges, you can kind of get your grid right. It's not just the in-game characters for the party that you play, they also show some of the more complex sprites for the monsters. Now they don't give you like the ratios that you're going to need, but it's cool to see these nonetheless, and kind of at least gives you a little bit of a challenge to try to recreate them on your own. Some of the pixel art for Final Fantasy 2, now they do this with all of the Final Fantasies, I just wanted to call this out because they show a bunch of the different sprites here, and you can kind of, if you really work at it, you can kind of transplant a lot of these images on here and kind of see how they would fit on a 16 by 24 or a grid. And some of the different items here, and I just, I'm really glad that they show all the different color palettes. It's, it would be a little bit hard for me to kind of match these up since I'm just starting out, but eventually I think I could probably recreate quite a few of these. They also give you sort of the different layers that it would take in order to recreate some of the images. This is really nice as it moves into the more and more complex sprites. You can kind of break them down in a way as similar to this and put them all together to create a really nice image. They also show the towns and they don't give you the exact ratios here, but you can still get the color palette and some of the basic ideas of what you would need to do in order to recreate each square. And for each game, they give you these really nice pictures. This one is really just going to be Final Fantasy VI right now. But they give you nice pictures from each and every scene that's at least they felt were important for this book. And I don't think that I personally could recreate them, but it's sort of like a challenge for yourself if you're learning pixel art to try to put all these back together. And then the last thing I want to call out is this nice interview at the end of this book with, and I'm really sorry because I'm going to mess up her name, Kazuko Shibua. And she is, one of the, she is one of the artists for Square Enix, and she also did the pixel art for Final Fantasy. It's just a really cool thing to kind of get into a little bit of her background and find out more about her, which is really nice. So all that being said, I really recommend this book if you're trying to learn pixel art or if you just want to look at how they put a lot of these different characters together. Anyway guys, that's going to wrap it up. I will see you guys next time and have a great day.